In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at integration using the substitution method. All right, and we will be doing this for indefinite integrals. Um, all of the examples that I do in this one will be indefinite integrals. Um, now, you're going to want to use this integration by substitution um, whenever you are dealing with some composite functions. If, you, if you've got an inside, clearly a composite function with an inside and an outside, then this u substitution method is going to work quite nicely. Okay, so for my first example here, we'll go through about three examples in this video. Keep it rather short, but still give you about three different examples. Um, let's say we're integrating 2x times the quantity x squared plus 1 raised to the fourth power dx. Okay, now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to look for the part of the function that is the composite function. Alright, so right in here I've got an inside function and then I've got an x to the fourth. It would be the outside. So I've got a power to the fourth and an inside function of x squared plus u. Alright, if I let my u be the inside part, that's a really good starting point All right, for when you're going to want to do this. So right under here I'm going to say we're going to let u equal that inside part, so x squared plus 1. Alright, now once I make that decision, alright, it could be the right decision, it might be the wrong decision, but in a little bit later uh, you're going to be able to see and I'll show you, you'll know whether or not you have made the right decision at this point and a few more steps. Alright, now once you've decided this, then you're going to take the derivative of both sides, so derivative of u there is going to be du, and then derivative of this side over here is going to be a 2x, and we're going to want to go ahead and put in that dx. Okay, so take the derivative here, 2x, and then add your little dx. Now, usually what I do for my students, um, just because mainly I teach calculus at the high school level, um, is I tell the kids to go ahead and solve for dx, all right, which in turn would be divide both sides by that 2x. So then I've got a du over a 2x equals dx. All right, now after you get a little bit better and stuff, some people, especially at the college level, don't have you actually go down and solve that for dx. All right, but um, it, for what I'm going to show you and how you're going to substitute in, it just makes it really, really nice. Okay, now what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to come back and I'm going to rewrite this so that ultimately I get everything in terms of u. Okay, so I've got my integral. All right, now my 2x, I have to leave because I don't have anything I can substitute for that. All right, the x squared plus 1. All right, well, I said I was going to let u equal x squared plus 1, so I'm going to replace that with a u to the fourth. All right, now my dx, since I solved for dx down here, I know what dx is, and I can substitute this in for my dx. So then I'm going to have a du over a 2x. All right, now at this point, all right, this kind of looks a little tacky. You've got x's and u's in there, so I really can't do anything about this. At this point, I want to see if I can cross things out. My ultimate goal would be to cross out all my x's. All right, if I can cross out all of my x's, all right, then I'm going to have an integral problem here in just u's, which is what I want. Okay, I've got this 2x on top, and I've got this 2x on the bottom, so I am going to be able to cross those out, and then that's going to leave me with the integral of a u to the fourth du. All right, now it's at this point that I know I have made the right u substitution because all of my x is crossed out. Okay, so from here, then you can just go ahead and integrate like normal. Okay, so integrating a u to the fourth would be um, adding five or adding one, which would give me a five. So a one fifth u to the fifth, and then plus c because we are doing the um, indefinite integral here. Now, this answer is in terms of u. My original problem is in terms of x, so I need to do a substitution back. I have to plug in x squared plus 1 for my u so that I actually have an answer written in terms of x. So 1 fifth x squared plus 1 and then plus c for my final answer there. All right, so first example there of a u substitution. Now let's take a look at another example. Very, very similar, but yet a little bit different here. Let's say I'm integrating 3x squared times the square root of x to the third plus 1 dx. All right, so definitely here I've got um, a composite function right here because my inside function is that x to the third plus 1. The outside function would be the square root of 
x right there. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to choose to let my u be the inside part of that composite function. So I'm going to let u equal the x to the third plus 1. All right, now at this side, I take the derivative of both sides. Derivative of u is going to be 1 and then du. Take the derivative there, I'm going to have a 3x squared, and I'm going to want to remember to put the dx with it. All right, and then again, I'm going to highly suggest that you go ahead and solve for that dx so that you can see what you've got. You've got a du over a 3x squared equals a dx. Okay, now at that point then, I can come back over here and I can substitute into my original equation things that I can. So I'm going to integrate 3x squared don't have anything for that, so it's just going to stay. The x to the third plus 1, I can substitute a u in there. All right, and the dx, I can substitute a du over a 3x squared. All right, again, at this point, if things cross out, all your x's cross out and you're left with all u's, then this is good. I've got a 3x squared in the top, a 3x squared in the bottom, so those are going to cross out, and then that does leave me with just u's, which is what I'm wanting, so I know I made the right choice here. So I'm going to integrate the square root of u du. All right, now, sitting like that does not make the integration very easy, so I'm going to rewrite this as a power. So I'm going to go the integral of u to the 1 half du. Now I can go ahead, add 1 there, and multiply by the reciprocal when I integrate. So when I do that, let's see, adding 1 is going to be a 3 halves as my exponent, so I'll have a u raised to the 3 halves, and in front then multiplying by that reciprocal 2 thirds. All right, and then I can't forget the plus c. All right, and again, here I am in terms of u, but my original problem was in terms of x, so I need my final answer in terms of x. I'm going to substitute this back in. So I'm going to have a 2 thirds times an x to the third plus 1 raised to the 3 halves, and then plus c. All right, so there's my second example. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and do one more example. Let's do this um, using a quotient here. So I've got a quotient here. Now again, taking a look at this, all right, I definitely have a composite function going on here in the denominator. My inside function being 1 plus x to the fourth, and then my outside function being something raised to the second power there, and x to the second power. Okay, so again, I will always choose my u to be the inside part of the composite part of the function. So I'm going to let u equal 1 plus x to the fourth. All right, then I'm going to take the derivative. Derivative of u there is going to be a 1 du. And then derivative here will be a 4x to the third. And then I don't want to forget, I always want that dx on the, along there with it. All right, one more step, solve for that dx. So du over a 4x to the third equals my dx. All right, then your next step, come back up and see what kind of substitutions that you can do. So I've got an integral. Um, can't do anything with that x to the third, so he's going to stay in the top. Okay, And then I can substitute a u in for the 1 plus x to the fourth, so I'm going to have a u squared. All right, And then substituting for my dx, I'll have a du all over a 4x to the third. All right, now in this example, it looks like my x to the third and x to the third is going to cross out, so my x's are going to go away, so that's good. All right, and then I've got a 4 down here in the bottom, all right, with wherever you would want to put an imaginary 1, maybe say right there. So that's um, the coefficient, so I would highly recommend pulling out that 1 fourth out in front. So I'm going to pull a 1 fourth out in front of my integral. It's going to simplify my integral down quite a bit. I've got an imaginary 1 here, 1 over u squared du. Okay. Now at this point, you're going to look at this. I'm all in terms of u, so now I did make the right u substitution. All right, now if I go to integrate this, all right, the easiest way to integrate this would be to move the u squared up and make it negative. So then I'm going to have a 1 fourth the integral of the u to the negative 2 du. Okay, now I can go ahead and um, add 1 right there, or uh, yeah, add 1, which is going to give me a negative 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that integration. So I'll have a 1 fourth 
I said add one, which will give me a negative one, and then pull that down in front, negative one there, and then a plus C. All right, um, probably before I substitute my U back in, I would probably go ahead and move that to the bottom, all right, and multiply negative one times that one fourth. So then I'm gonna have a negative one over a four U plus C. I'd probably write it like that. And then putting back in my U here, I'm gonna have a negative one over a four, one plus X to the fourth, and then plus C. All right, so um, three little examples there of using a U substitution. All right, making sure that if you pick your U, looking initially, at least for that first choice, I would always pick the inside part of the composite function that you're seeing. All right, and I would go ahead and solve all the way down for DX to make your uh, substitutions a little bit easier. Keeping in mind, as long as you cross out all of your X's, all right, and you get down to an integral problem of all U's, then you are then made the right choice on what you picked your U to be, and then your integration from there should be straightforward. Definitely thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.